In Wyoming today, voters will decide the political fate of Congresswoman Liz Cheney and maybe help shape the future of the Republican Party. You guys have known Cheney for yeah, years. Yeah, has a house across the street. I here. talked to them in the grocery store. And yet you voted for Harriet. Yeah. As of November 8th, we're taking our country back. Trump endorsed Republican Harriet Hageman trying to oust Cheney, who put her political career on the line by voting to impeach President Trump and then agreeing to serve as vice chair on the January 6th Select Committee. Here in Wyoming, Harriet Hageman or Liz Cheney? Oh, hey, hey, Hageman. 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 A party solidifying around the former president. Liz Cheney hates the voters of the Republican Party. Cheney hoping Democrats like Dorothy Stout can help, who switched parties today. She's the only person fighting in the Republican Party, and we have to vote for her. The evolution of the GOP over the last 20 years is striking. And that's why it's not just Wyoming where Trump looms large today. I'm Ali Vitale in Alaska. Voters here considering Trump allies and detractors alike on their ballots today, using a new system of ranked choice voting for the first time. Conservative firebrand Sarah Palin vying for a comeback, up for an open house seat and relying on her well-known name and Trump's endorsement. You're going to send the great, legendary Sarah Palin to the U.S. House of Representatives. We cannot afford any more D's or rhinos in office or we get less freedom. Palin consistent. We just need to drill, baby, drill. But her win's not guaranteed. And on the Senate side, Senator Lisa Murkowski facing headwinds to keep her seat as one of Trump's top targets. She's by far the worst. My campaign is not about Donald Trump. Murkowski expected to survive this primary round. Ali Vitale, NBC News, Anchorage, Alaska.